So Cooper, the only man to knock down Evander Holyfield. Been in those seven ready, championship Michael. rounds against Holyfield before ready, losing. Ready, Michael Moore. Moore. Cooper has Moore up against the ropes. The body shot, the right hand. Moore blocking one right, then he takes him. And he's hurt. And Michael Cooper Moore is out on his face. Right. Michael Moore. That fight is over. A long straight count. right hand. Michael Moore. Bert Cooper. Before we got up to win that fight. But in the surprise here, Cooper got him down in the first round. But he just hurt Cooper with a short little left hand himself. Oh! Oh! Cooper goes down! Out! Cooper absorbing more punishment. And more! All over him again! Oh! And Cooper! How was he able to stand? Shots by Michael Moore landed. And great hooks to the head. And Cooper is about to go again. Oh! Moore digs in the body shot. Cooper with the right hook and the uppercut. Heavyweight championship belt. Oh, Cooper with the combination. And another combination. And he has Moore down again. Of course, uh, Tony Ayala Sr. in Moore's corner is telling him to use the ring more. This is his game plan. This is where he wants to be. I fought Cooper. Cooper's so strong. Oh! And Cooper lands again. Wow. Working for him. He continues to use the strategy. Backed up against the ropes. Fight nasty. Oh, buddy. Heads stay together. A real Donnie Brook here. Oh, good right hand, and then the left for Moore. It started with the right, and now Moore has Cooper up against the ropes. Oh, but down he goes. Doesn't look like he's going to get up. That's no, it's it. over. That's it. Michael Moore, the WBO heavyweight champion. The challenger, former heavyweight champion of the world, the Eastern Assassin, Larry Hall. The two-time world champion and current undefeated, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Evander Real Deal. But he's very Especially conditioned and can really put the punches together. Holyfield was a feeling, and I must say, going into this, that one thing Holyfield really would have stop his arms working. I think that's what he's going to have to try. He'll certainly, I think, want to do a number on Larry Holmes tonight and finish this early. Holmes gets him with a right hand, right? Slips from side to side, so he may be able to avoid it. Good punches from Holmes there. Found the target with much though. He's just uh, hitting the elbows and gloves. And look at Holmes, he's landing with the better punches. He's got to try and use his all them fights, all that experience from them fights. Holyfield was probably only about 11 years old at the time. Good right, Holyfield. And another, another one. good right. The old fox trying to give away again. Good right on the counter from Larry Holmes. And a body shot too. And this time it's Holyfield who has to get the gloves up. Right cross from Holmes. He's keeping constant pressure on Larry Holmes. stamina just dry up. He could run out of gas at any Well, those are good shots from Holyfield. Oh, God. He's starting to find a way through now, Holyfield, into play again as well. This is, uh, say, in the second round, when he had a good one. Holmes has snapped out his jab a few times, but the... There's no double jab, right hand. And it... No. I'd have said maybe it's a better no. play. But uh, Holyfield, he thought... And all the time, those... Watching. Because he couldn't put an old man away. Oh, that's a good right hand from Holmes. And another one. He's looking very casual, Holyfield. Yes, he is. He's a little bit towards the side of the right arm. He's just Oops. waiting there to counter-punch him as he comes in. Well, it looked for a moment as if they were... 
and Holly will try and do what he thinks is the right thing. Good right hands. Oh, he's leaving himself open. Holmes did take that 11. Yes, I'm, I would have agreed with that. Although I'm sure he came into this fight believing he could yeah. to the body and a, a good double hook to the head. That Holmes probably realizes that too, although he's finishing fast here. And he's lying with some good punches again in this round. Back comes Holyfield at him. Refusing to be dominated. That's his fighting pride. And, and now Holmes. Well. Last 10 seconds. Blood still streaming from the eyes. It's all over. It'll go to the judges. And still, yeah, yeah, yeah. the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. The number one heavyweight challenger in the world, Riddick Big Daddy Bones. Hook to the body by Evander Holyfield. And this is early because he doesn't like it. Holyfield. No combination. Bo answers with one punch in return. And Holyfield again. Now Bo lands the right hand for the combinations by the champion Evander Holyfield. And already Bo begins to hold and hit. And they brought in the center of the ring. Evander Holyfield showing his warriors how doing what's come naturally. Good right hand, as it might have appeared to be the case. Holyfield landing. It's going to be a big deal. Let's look more carefully. There's the left hook by Holyfield. And another, and another, and another. Holyfield wobbles Bow under the hook. Riddick falls in, falling right to that hook again by Holyfield. Lou Duba has prepared, Ray referee must have found it partially blocked by Holyfield with the left jab and going inside and warring shot for shot with Holyfield. Low blow, not cold. Only 36 for Holyfield. There's a left and a right by Holyfield and the left. Bo giving the right hand in return. Left hand by Holyfield. And Riddick Bo has never been beyond 10. so many wounds. Hey, hey, keep that left hook out of the business. Put on the other and move around and side to side. And Bo trying to capitalize with the uppercut. And Holyfield comes back with the right hand. is truly endurance. Endurance is like... <laughs> Holyfield has landed less than half. So has a very good chance of winning it. Bo lands the right hand over the top. Evander just freezes and looks at him and then comes he right hurt. hand. Bo didn't realize that he was hurt. And now Evander is reeling as Bo lands the left hook. And goes to the... And the part of the crowd that supports Holyfield. Hart. Probably. Not in terms of his punching power, George. Not at all. Never shot he bend the Holyfield throws now. He should open up with his long left hooks right now because the style right. right side, I know what it's all about. Good left hook. Holyfield with another left hook. The champion showing his courage, hawing at his left eye to feel the blood and then racing out with a left hook. Both coming back right. again. Let's see if Holyfield tries to take advantage of that opportunity. He does, and takes a right hand in return. To see for a minute. And also likely to make Holyfield worry and feel negative. <laughs> right hand by Holyfield, and again, he shook the sweat off of Bo, but didn't move the man. Whenever Bo gets in trouble, he throws one to the booty. You can't understand someone being so dirty. Well, you see Holyfield going down in this round, and Bo stuns him with an uppercut, and just like that, the champion struggles to stay on his feet. What a heart by Holyfield. He's going to stay on his feet. He's hanging in there. Gets away from a right hand. Blocks another one. Bo. Don't oh. rest. Rest with your jab. Bo should be taking that kind of advice. Look at Holyfield. What a warrior. Oh, hey. Reversing the tide of the battle. The champion now has Bo wobbling. And he lands the right hand. Everybody in the Thomas and Mack Center on their feet. This round should be greeted with a standing ovation at the end. You've seen the best of both men. A right hand by Holyfield. And another. Round 10 continues after the bell. Him, There's the uppercut again. The mouthpiece is out of Holyfield's mouth, and he's going to go down. Oh, 
actually gone to the canvas. It could be all over for Evander Holyfield's heavyweight championship reign. Of managing and training two minute fighters at one time. Holyfield still punching. Still throwing the left hook inside and the right hand lead. 101, eight rounds to three. Riddick Bowe. I have Riddick Bowe in a commanding six point lead. The championship from Tyson. They belong to me. Larry stole them from me. <laughs> An extraordinary battle between two men of heart and will and courage and skill.